Today's episode is all about a store named Get a Grip and More. It's in Washington, New Jersey. I met with the owner, Dan Rossi, and he gave me a terrific tour of the shop. So if you like tools or all kinds of other things, please check him out. Hey there, welcome to Get a Grip. I'm Dan Rossi. Let's show you around. Uh, great. Thanks a lot, Dan. How are you, Bob? I'm doing real good. Thank good. you. All right. Well, welcome. So, so you got a heck of a store here. Why don't you uh, take us through it? A little large. We've been here just about 10 and a half years. Uh, uh, been selling tools for quite some time. Turned into a lot of other things in the in the process. When you have a love of, uh, you know, all kinds of things, it's kind of hard to say no when you're when you're uh, helping people out and, and uh, filling the store. So um, our focus was always on tools. You know, uh, I've always wanted to restore planes and I loved I loved uh, working on them by myself. And then of course we got busy. So we've uh, have, have a gentleman named Gordon who restores them um, slowly but surely. We built a collection, as you can see. This is a massive collection. It's really impressive. Thank you very much. We do have some odd, odd planes. We like finding the, the older and uh, uncommon ones. There's a ten and a half in there. We've had some um, you know, five and a halfs and some. We haven't had a one. I'm not going to lie. It's the one <laughs> plane that I haven't had. Yeah, they're tough to get. Yeah, but we've had many. Uh, Brace bits, as you can tell. Yeah, this we got a ton more planes over here. This is our thing. Got like spoke shaves. I mean, just about any woodworking tool. Uh, unplugged woodworking tool you can think of, we uh, we should have at least one mm -hmm. of them. Yeah, I noticed out back you've got uh, a place where you're reconditioning these things. Yeah, so workbench right here. We can show you that that, that space where we do all that. Okay. These are saw sets for all you saw lovers. We're restoring uh, hand saws. And oh yeah, down here. Yeah. 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 And you got some measuring tools. It's this fabulous collection. It's been quite a, a whole lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. So you said you've been here ten long. plus years. Ten plus years. I started in a um, about a thousand square feet in 2012 and ran out of space pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So we moved across the street, and this place was massive when I first started. And now I need more space. <laughs> We try to be that American hardware store where that old American hardware store where we have American things, American made, mm -hmm. um, better quality things. At least we, we think so. So that's what we focus on old hardware, knobs, even tubes, machinist tools. Oh, so it's not just, it's just not woodworking stuff. It's all, woodworking. If it's all, all types of tools, yeah, mechanics, tool. Mm -hmm. It, it goes back. <laughs> this is forever ending. Yeah. This is our, our main workstation where all the magic happens. Right now, uh, Gordon's working on fours, threes. We have uh, looking for parts in our, our, our part collection in the back for 45s and uh, 55s. And Gordon has the amazing skill of repairing some of our handles, and he does a phenomenal job at doing that. Mm -hmm. And show you some of those uh, um, unique repairs when we walk back around the other side. So he can repair them. Does he make new ones? We haven't gone full handle, yeah, like a full repair. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a little uh, the angles of a lot of the handles are really hard to to replicate. So he can, if there's cracks in them, he he cleans them out and he can uh, make a top for it and make it's it's incredible. It's actually a really um, it's a cool skill. It's a cool skill. Yeah, yeah. it's nice because the handles are harder to find mm -hmm. nowadays. Right. This is our current vice collection. We have a a lot of uh, milling vices, curt vices, which are are absolutely beautiful. We're a fan of the the bigger, of course, the heaviest you can get. Right now, we don't have anything majorly big, but we we restored everything from Parkers to, um, uh, gosh, Reed. I think Reed is my favorite. This is a new one that just walked in that we need to pretty up which is a, not an uncommon or it's an uncommon prentice that's a fun colombian of course stanley we've had a, a bunch of the several uh, the small clamp on planes which are so much fun this is our parts department for hardware not screws holy smoke you got a ton of stuff in here it's fifteen thousand square feet of cool stuff Bob. So lots to look at 
What's, back there we have some old craftsmen. What's this vice over here? I've never seen one like this. It's an anvil vice, most likely a Chaz Parker. But, you know, two things in one, they call them, you know, blacksmith vices. But uh, yeah, that one needs a little love. It's got a yeah, broken very. color. Never seen that, that's pretty yeah. cool. Welding stuff. Power tools, everything from sawzalls to scroll saws, to jigsaws. I'll show you the back. Give me a little feel for the back. Sure. It's long and narrow, so it's a, a little deceiving from the front of the store. Yeah, you said it's a city block long, right? It is a city block long. This stuff's a lot of our collectibles and, and other items, but we have an, an entire industrial section of more tools. Blades, stuff like that. I'll show you the way. We tend to have a lot of cabinets and parts bins and mm -hmm. things that hold things. You need things that hold things. My goodness. And this is the, call the high piper. Furniture, antiques, however, lots of tools. Stick to the tools, so that's the, our forte. This looks like a uh, picker's paradise. Our record is a uh, customer was here for seven and a half hours, so there's no <laughs> bring, bring beer, bring food, uh -huh. hang out. There you go. We have a night, we have a metal lathe at the moment, two metal lathes. Wow. Yeah, both functioning and ready to go. Boy, some good old American classics here. Absolutely. And you got a lot of corded, older corded, corded material. Circular saws, like I said. A metal bender. Yep. Everybody needs some asbestos brake line, line in their brake shoes, so get those two. Trolleys, chop saws, scaffolding, come alongs. Clamps, manual uh, or power threader, lots of wood clamps if you need any. Mm -hmm. I'm particularly a, a softie for the 50s craftsman tools. We do have a few of those. Yeah, I got an old DeWalt there, an old classic yeah. DeWalt. Everybody loves the DeWalt. We have a Rockwell, a Delta Rockwell uh, sheet. Joiner back here. It's pretty awesome. The original stand, hiding in the corner. Someone, this is ready for somebody to restore. What is that? It's a uh, oh, it's a joiner. Yeah, joiner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so a four inch joiner. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't recognize yeah. it with the pump on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Space is a premium here. We get cabinets. All kinds. Hydraulic tools. The old uh, aluminum body tools, which are, again, I'm a softie for those as well. You need a presidential pump for paint spraying with a heat, with a heat pump. That's here. Uh -huh. yeah, scaffolding jacks. Yeah. It's been quite a, uh, and we like boxes. We're a big, again, big Big on toolboxes, yeah. Tool boxes. Oh my like, goodness. We got boxes for boxes. It's been a pretty amazing ride. We've got some great customers, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to do this for like, 10 and a half years. So, I don't know, I want to build tables. We've got legs. Have some butcher block left, some maple. Ladders. And of course, we do sporting goods. Fishing, golf, all that. What sells the most? In, the, in terms of the whole store? Yeah, or, what, what area? Like sporting goods or tools? I mean, it seems like tools, t t yeah. tools are the, yeah. the main thing. We sell a lot of fishing poles. Uh, I'd say, you know, that's that was always our focus. So I think that's what we're mostly known for. Right. It's our safety section. You need climbing gear. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a lot of woodworkers in the area. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show you this way. God, this building never ends. It is quite long. Oh my goodness, I'll go to Electroluxes. <laughs> this, uh, we, we grew up with these at our house. Now back the 
it's quality. Quality. Quality's good stuff. This room is was kind of, was in our basement. Um, and we had to move it upstairs. So it's a little well, I guess it's kind of like everything else. It's not as organized, but you need a um optical comparator. Yeah, it's a comparator. I wish it was safe. Somebody has the one has the ability to restore an old Oliver. Good old Oliver, a, yeah. Yeah, parts of it. Yeah, I see these on um, Facebook Marketplace every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's a couple on there now. This yeah. is these are popular in schools, right? Yes. Now the genie isn't for sale. The thing is awesome. If you mm -hmm. ever need something to lift stuff, yeah, right. Genie. Chainsaws, chainsaw parts. The old, okay, old craftsmen, you know, uh, when they the separated motor and tools. An old dust collector. Looks like a dust collector to me. Uh, I think it guess right. Truck boxes, hand tools, lots of old hand saws. I think we have about, I don't know if I had to guess, somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 to 1,000 hand saws. And this is our parts department for... Ah, more planes, huh? Planes, yeah, we got a thing for planes. Huge society of plane collectors out there a lot of fun a lot of restoration videos out there that good old handyman's and the transition planes what are these these are vices right pipe, uh, these are actually pipe, uh, pipe uh, places for, for oh no it's for trailer truck it's for yeah vehicle yeah okay and and bike bikes or parts <laughs> this is a gold mine of stuff. It's so cool. I'll just, I figured we'd show you the the saws since there's probably a fair amount of saw guys out there. Back to here. You wiggle your way through. Uh, you weren't. I said you weren't kidding about the toolbox collection. I admit, I haven't been on this side a little bit, so you can't see all the saws. It's kind of taken over. So what's, I'm sorry, what's over here? There's approximately, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of dark in here, but there's about 500 to 1,000 saws on these two shelves, hand saws. They're just, they're stacked up in barrels. You need that amazing thing called time. <laughs> And two man saws. If you're looking for two man saws, we probably have about thirty. Do they sell? People yeah. still buying them? Yeah, a lot of decoration. That's you know? what I'm thinking. People like painting them, right? Uh, place it up in um, Mohawk. Uh, Mohawk. I can't remember the name. Anyway, they uh, they uh, they bought a bunch to display in their shop. New place in Newton. Okay. Yeah. So, so is this an acetylene torch? It's a, it would be a pretty big one. Now, this is a, a very old kitty, probably 1930s fire extinguisher for a fire company. Oh, my goodness. For a firehouse. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. It's, very it's cool. Pretty impressive. What's this thing over here? So that is a specific brand. And the cool thing with this company is people make uh, TV, actually TV stands out of it, like and sell them for a whole lot of money. It's a very old saw. I can't remember. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. I forget what it's called. Oh, it's a pool saw. There you go. It's extremely That's dangerous. A, they yeah. stopped making them. Yeah, I've, I've seen ago. these before. You know, this is you know, certainly a factory tool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be playing with that. It's, it's very dangerous. But they make awesome um, TV stands. Right. <laughs> cool. That's not, it's not a, that's, that's an older one. So it, it, the compact's brand new. Okay. That's a newer, I mean, I can get up. <laughs> So it looks like you're always getting new stuff in. We do yeah. on a daily basis. I just so happened to get this amazing, amazing collection of plum bobs yesterday. This was a gentleman who collected these for about 20 years. Um, and 
his family was ready to finally, you know, move them to get be appreciated somewhere else. So we were lucky enough. I was very fortunate in the right place at the right time. And it's a magnificent collection. Um, everything from, you know, the Barbara, they call it, they call them Barbara Bobs, I believe. <laughs> I've never seen anything like yeah, this. Yeah. This is phenomenal. To, you know, 17th, 18th century um, bone plum bobs. There's over a hundred in this collection. It's it's the most amazing collection I've ever seen, especially in person. I right. love in the lab. So it's pretty amazing. So Dan, tell me about your eBay business. We, that was where we started in 2005. I had a an opportunity to sell something, and I didn't know much about eBay, and I had put put it up, and was very very frustrated for the first like few weeks, and I stopped. Went back a few weeks later and got the bug. Started selling things and. And, uh, was, was able to get really involved and I started going in sales like most people get started and people started asking me for things so we started selling their stuff and finding things for people so we've been on there again, since 2005 and do very very well and thank goodness very you know lucky and fortunate and it's been it's, it's helped us support this business we wouldn't be able to have the store if we didn't have our online sales so. Okay, so this has been a fantastic tour. I really appreciate you taking a few minutes of your day. Absolutely, I'm with so me. glad you stopped by, Bob. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad to right. show your friends and, and uh, you know fellow members on your wood turners group. So. That's right. And um, so, how do people get a hold of you? You can call us at nine zero eight two two three thirteen twenty five. Come check us out in Washington at thirty seven East Washington Avenue, or check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Or on both. Okay. All right. Until next time. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay, bye. Well, that certainly was a fantastic visit. Spent about an hour or so with Dan. And uh, go check out his store. Uh, it is a picker's paradise. And uh, if you're in northwest New Jersey, go check him out. For all the details on how to get a hold of Dan, uh, here they are. You can get him on uh, his website, his phone number, or on his eBay name.